Okay. Hello, everybody, on my vlog. Jake Paul has Paula's. What should I have, Cody? Either Corbinators or Ryan, Ryan Harders. That, no. No, I <laughs> said Jake Paul or something. You guys voted on Instagram and Twitter and all that. And so now my bike is named Athena. And I love that name because she is the goddess of war. And I take this girl on the war every weekend. Filmed at Tempest before, but you guys haven't seen every nook and cranny of Tempest. So I'm going to show you guys all Tempest Valley has to offer. My impersonation of Corbin. All right, here we go. We got impersonation of me. What's up, everybody? It's Corbin's vlog. Let's get into it. <laughs> Someone did do an impersonation of me. Um, I didn't realize some of the stuff that I've been doing, my mannerisms, until this video came out. So I'll let you guys watch that right now. This is how Corbin lands a precision. This is how Corbin reacts when he lands a trick. Yes! This is how Corbin reacts when someone almost lands a trick. Oh my god, Kayla, you have to get that. <laughs> this is how Corbin reacts when someone lands their trick. <laughs> yes, Kayla! All right, and to start it off, you guys know the legendary bar section. I spend the majority of my time, I would say, in the bar section out of anywhere else. We do a lot of different movements. We do some swings, we do some strides. I do this every morning when I coach, and this is just a great way to warm up. Check it, look at this. So here is one of the scariest Kong Prix in the gym that I've ever done. I worked my way up to actually going for Kong onto this, onto the rail. It still scares me to this day. For the vlog though, so I see so, you in your natural state. This one right here was one of the hardest things that I've ever had to commit to. I thought of it in my sleep one time, and I just came into the gym and was like, Okay, I'm gonna huck it. Kong gainer from the rail onto a mat down on the ground. Super scary. You look like Jesus right now. Why do you think I'm wearing my white shirt, huh? I haven't done a lot of stuff actually on this floor. This is the spring floor. It's like a regular gymnastics floor. The spring is probably like this big, but it gives you enough to really do some movements. Now I'll show you guys some tumbling movements. Blah! This is an obstacle that goes overlooked most of the time at this gym. These are the rails that we have right next to the water fountains. What I usually like to practice with these is how accurate I can get with different stuff. I'll try to do a wall full on this. So we're getting new mats, that's why this is here. And I got a question for you, Cody. Do you want to get cut? Do you want to get cut, Cody? No, not really. We got Mario right here. Mario consists of lower walls, walls like this with the coins on them, but also other walls that have little gaps underneath. A lot of games of pre have gone on in here. Also, there are different layers or different uh, elevations to the walls, and one of them is this big one right here. I practice accurate wall flips on that, so sometimes I'll go up there like before work or something like that and do a big wall flip. Kaleidoland! The design makes the Tempest symbol. This used to be just a flat area where people used to dance. They had like mirrors and stuff. But then this became a whole big section where people would jump from one thing to another. So nobody uses that bar. Nobody uses the unicorn bar. They ask you how you are, you just have to say that you're fine when you're not really fine. My favorite movement is that dive roll through there. I'll show you guys that right now. Whoa! Ooh! Okay, I got you. You're gonna break the camera. Okay, well, guess what? It's gonna be because of you. Bar section, everybody. We also have the warp wall behind us. Warp wall is one of the main. Okay. Warp wall is one of the main obstacles from American Ninja Warrior. I'm gonna film Cody doing it right now. Unless you're scared. What are you doing? Just do it with it. Oh my goodness. It really needs to be perfect and pristine for Cody Farm. Look at that face. Ooh, boy! We are now going to the den. The den is the place where we have eyeballs and all that, but it's also the place to keep 
are big blocks. They have lifting racks and stuff, weights, beams, and rails for the time being. Rio is a bunch of walls that we use for like games of pre and stuff like that. They're actually based off of different walls apparently in Rio, Brazil, so I don't know. That's the name. Yeah, exactly. There are apparently some colorful walls in Rio, Brazil. That so this is a new red bar Tempus just got. Nothing is holding it down. So if you come Ooh. at it too strong. What happens if you come at it too strong? You said come at it, right? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> we keep this resi here right in the middle of where the arrow wall is. From this arrow wall to this wall. That's not an arrow. But we call that the David Bell gap. Okay. Whoa! Whoa! This is probably one of the biggest gaps in Tempest that is like mentally challenging. Yes, it is. Whoa! Paint me like one of your French farms, am I right? <laughs> Look at all the signatures. I forgot these were painted here. So there's a place called downtown called Lacey Studios. It's where a lot of people do some filming. It's at Lacey Studios, they have bars on the walls, and you could do cat back. One, two, three. Save. Start off from right here, you go boom! <laughs> oh, baby! Ooh, baby! To that bar, and then to the very top top. Without the resi. What are you filming on there? Huh? Get out of here. You nasty. This is called the Sugimura gap right here. This did not used to be a wall. Someone took a bad, bad crash on it. They broke some things. They are okay now. So this is the back area. I'm scared right ah! <laughs> Yes! Up these stairs is what we call the coach's lounge. Come on, join me, won't you? Employees only. Except for you guys, you guys can come in. This is where we get away from the kids, everybody. Gabriel Nunez's jersey over here, he's the CEO of Tempest. That's Lucy's jersey, she is one of the best females in the world at parkour. This is the first pro takeover, this is all the people that were there. We got everybody, Jason Paul, you guys probably know who he is. Everybody you could think of. That was, that was a very good year. Look how young Toby Seeger is. Everybody look at that. He looks like a little baby boy. Let me turn on the lights up here. That's a nice shot of your butt. This is Jesse LaFleur's artwork that was at the uh, Tempest 10 year reunion. I haven't been able to go there yet, but I've always wanted to go. The Dome du Lac in France. Not even joking, like over 100 feet tall. First actual architecture uh, for parkour. Three, two, one, boom! The trampoline and foam pit. Oh, baby. That's sticky. It's a candy cane, what'd you expect? I know, but it's super sticky. That's pretty good. Okay, but Cody, I'm leaving you in the dark. Cool. And we're okay. You've seen the gym. You've seen everything. I can't show you anything more because that's all the secrets we have there. You don't have a Cody, shirt on. Cody, is he with you? Who are you? I, I, You're not even allowed here. Go oh, away. Oh. This is a tip of the day, everybody. Always, 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 if you're gonna fall into a wall or anything, land with your feet first. So, that's the tip of the day. <laughs> there you go. What the See fuck? you later. If you don't go in that bye, curse, bye. you can't hurt your nose. <laughs> Never ever. <laughs> Ow! Two to the one, to the one to the three. I like good pussy and I like